Hello once again everyone and welcome to the Divine Divinity walkthrough. This is episode 6. Um, we just... In the last episode we finished uh, at the Blue Boar... No, forgive me, I always confuse those two. At the Dwarven Bread Inn. And we met with the other marked one. There is one more uh, left to meet. Also Sandalor was not here. Uh, he went to a Stormfist Castle to to find the other one there it is now in the last episode we did um sabotage the um, the orc camp supply so what we will do now it's uh we're gonna go back to the barracks which is uh actually here here we're gonna go the army camp towards captain um uh, Metox. We're gonna speak to him. We do have the teleporter, I believe. Uh, not entirely sure. I think we don't because it would show. Oh, there it is. But there's no teleporter around here, as far as I'm concerned. So, first of all, we're gonna go over there. And uh, today we are gonna reach um, Stormfist Castle. And I've been speaking about it. For a while now and the truth is uh, a lot of things happen over there so he's wanting to make sure to not leave anything behind something i would like to mention that i didn't it's that if you're following this uh this series religiously as a sort of a guide i would just advise to not do it uh i am going in a way that it showcases the story and whatnot off camera i will be doing my share fair of exploring and farming as i said the way you want to play this game is cleaning everything cleaning everything otherwise you won't be able to to understand most of the things and i also recommend not playing on my resolution because we lose a lot of um visible area and that's the reason why i missed the teleporters uh, starting this series and also i did tell you about the scorpion traps you can use those to farm in certain places where you feel um, under level or something like that but in any case let's get going it's a long way over there i do think i am going to be a little under level in the next few episodes so i will just so you know because i think it's important that you know in case you're following this uh walk through that i will be going to places uh, on the hatches and all the unexplored and just cleaning my way through so that we can have a better chance of course and i did try the lining but i think that i, I really think that the fireball is just way stronger it doesn't consume as much mana as I thought it did, the lightning. But still, the fireball is uh, just better and easier. Uh, I don't advise the magic though. You should just try anything. You can do it. It's uh, it's vast game. It's not. Rep it doesn't feel repetitive. You play normally, and I I really recommend you give it a try. Quite frankly. But and anyway, we're here. Let's go uh, see Captain Mitsux. There he is. There it is. Well done, Freebutter. Uh, with their supplies destroyed, the orcs won't be able to maintain the siege much longer. I think the time has come to move on to a more aggressive footing. I need your services once again. What's the mission? I want you to poison the well the orcs are using as their main water supply. Take this lethal poison uh, my battle my battle mage have concoct and throw it into the well near the orc camp. Careful now. Let a drop of this stuff uh, get between your lips and you're as good as death. Understood? Aye. Show me the location. My spies tell me that the well is in heavily guarded area. Uh, you have to find a way to sneak close enough to the well to use the poison. Uh, I have to, 
I leave the method up to you. Good luck. Very well. So, just like we did before, over here, we got a TP order. Uh, and there it is, water supply for the orcs. So, this is practically... Oh, they gave to Stormfist Castle, there it is. Practically the same. We are going to have to go and fight the orcs. going to have to clear our way through it. And find this well. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Bottle of poison. Now, a word of advice, a little bit of a spoiler. I am going to be losing my teleporter stone for a little while in the near future. Now, as I told you in the first episode, I think... My first playthrough I did without the teleporter stone because I lost it. It was a mess of a playthrough, like I... I I just advanced on brute force, pretty much. Uh, so I really don't know what the teleporter stone is about. Like, it surely has to be a mission uh, regarding that. So I will be looking into that once we get there. This is the, the orc camp that we exploded. I can't go over there, it's blocked. And there's our scorpion traps. I'm not picking them up because, uh, well, I don't need them. The mage is really strong. But yeah, I did think of what I said last time, last episode, of just clearing the uh, the fog of war. Well, I don't know if it can be done. However, my advice to you would be to not do it. Because this is not only uh, to set the ambience, but it's also very useful when it comes to just tracing back and know what you have and you have not explored. I consider this world to be big, but it's also not insanely big and truly doing all side quests and stuff it does not feel repetitive as you might think so I would advise to um, to just j just try it normally it's a good time let's use this is that bad is there I'm not gonna be teleporting back but yeah, the orcs are getting slightly stronger as we move on. Or at least the archers. Yeah, we just want we just want to clean to clean them up. Although one thing you can do, if you feel like the the fog of war is a deal breaker for you, as I as you read read someone saying that, um, it's to. I'll show you in a minute, actually. I, I believe the elf has this skill um, slightly enhanced and it, it clears more fog. This is wizard sight. Use the power of magic to cast your view into areas your feet have yet to tread. Uh, I don't know if it works the same as the elves, but uh, or, or maybe the elf sight it's different skill. But surely putting a couple of points there is a good idea. Right. I did hear a review back in the day of someone who played the archer. Uh, which apparently it's like insanely unforgiving. What is amazing to me is how did he figure out how to uh, do kiting because to me that seems highly impossible. Oh, these guys are getting stronger. I did put these level points on the on the intelligence. 
I must rest before I can use another spell. The guys are getting a little, a little bit tougher and my mana is running out, so. I don't know if I can use it. No, it's been too soon. Let's use one, uh, just a few of these. Uh, something I should do probably. It's to start uh, putting points on strength. And just find a good weapon and kind of work with both. But as I said, uh, we're going to feel a little under level, obviously. Since I've been kind of rushing through the main, main things. But that's not that's not all too bad. I can go through here uh, to this episode and I will make sure that we're doing just fine. Come on, dude. That was nice. You see? The reason that it le levels me up so quick is because these guys are just a bigger level. Yeah, I don't know how you would kites in the game. I legitimately just go back and... and wait for them. Right. Um... Probably should start focusing on this first. Let's see. Right, because the the, the sword swinging, the melee attacks apparently are. I'm not entirely sure, but it's like a, a chance probability. Some hits uh, connect, and some others don't. So. I don't know. I wonder how that works. Oh, this is uh, another enhancement at a point three eight teams into our fireball. So that should be good. Eating potions, I find a lot. Mana, not so much. I do still have a lot of uh, good weapons on the house in Alaroth, the one in which I go resting. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Right, so this is a good opportunity to go over there. But yeah, then again, we just had to uh, do a lot of cleaning here uh, in that place. Uh, agility 30, 60. Yeah, I do not discard that at, uh, probably next episode or so. I will have one of these. We'll do things a lot easier. But nonetheless, just have to put some things in here. I can't use it on that. The adventure in this game was uh, quite a shock, quite frankly. I was not expecting it to be like that. It, it, it's a good thing, in my opinion. It's only... It's only... What would be the word? Uh, limited by the weight capacity. And nothing else, really. Okay. Okay, these guys are not too bad. That is a five don't miss. We're getting a lot of gold though. We are indeed. Okay. 
Let's focus on that constitution. Let's become immortal. And as for this, I don't really think that we get any of that until a couple of levels later. Uh, so let's put another one in. Superb. Right. There we are. Ooh, no, run out of mana. I have no more potions. Hmm. Tricky. Right. <laughs> Hold on, let me see something. Uh, I got the club. The stuff doesn't make... Yeah, it's the same amount of ma damage. It's not going to do anything, really. Right. Nine thirty one. Okay, let's see. Do I do anything? I mean, I don't have the stats, but at least it did hit. Let's see that thing. Oh, agility twenty. It's not too bad, though. Oh, here is the well. I mean, is it even necessary to poison them? Like, I I'm literally killing them all. Okay, the, the well has been poisoned. Yeah. It has been done. I'm taking your goals well. So the thing would be now to go back here. And that way, we can maybe move towards uh, what is the... Um, the Stormfist Castle. We have been delaying that one for a while now. My energies are depleted. Let me regain my strength. Let us go now, since we have no more mana. Holy shit, there were a lot of them. I didn't see them there. But yeah, last episode we discovered that Janus, the the Duke's son, um, has everyone believing he is the Divine One. Now, knowing that, we know that um, Martinius, well, not Martinius, sorry, uh, Sandalor went to Stormfist Castle and ha hasn't returned since. So that is a little fishy. Mm, let me let me see. Oh, that was the wrong teleport actually. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We just go back here and we can it's quicker to walk this way. Let's go talk to Captain Mitox. So yeah, we are going to be going to Stormfist Castle, just to see what's going on. Now she's the weapon, remember that? Otherwise people go crazy because you, you're talking to them with a weapon in your hand. 
Greetings, Freebooter. My scouts reported that some orcs are already falling prey to the poison, and a good few will die in agony before tomorrow's morning. Ah, uh, tomorrow morning's cockrow. Good work. We can hold out now, uh, and might even be able to go on the counterattack if the orcs pull back in this array. Go report the situation to General Alex. She'll reward you richly for your services out here. No doubt. Very well. So that's done. We can now go... Uh, well, before going over there, it would be a better idea to just report to Alex. It's not so far. No, it's pretty close. So we're gonna make our way over there. Although we haven't, uh, we have not looked into the um, the soldiers' camp that was bewitched and made attack me. Good morning, soldiers. Okay, there she is. It seems my initial estimation that you were a worthy warrior was correct. I have received favorable rewards of your deeds from Captain Mitox, and it appears word of your heroism has already made its way to Rivertown. Uh, if only battle orders spread as fast as rumors, Tales of your deeds have been ha have even reached the ears of Janos himself. Oh, that is his, the the son's uh, the duke's son. Sorry, and he's invited you to the castle Stormfist. Oh, so we got an invitation anyway. Very well. Uh, here, take this letter of invitation, which will grant you access to the castle. Who is Janos? You seem to hold him in high in high esteem. Janos is the son of the Duke uh, Pendrak Ferrell. Pendrak died mysteriously some time back and Janos became his rightful successor. I'd be proud to call him my son if there's one person that has the wits and intelligence to restore the dukedom to its former glory. It's that boy. Ah, uh, you think? We'll see about that. He's a boy? Again, you backlanders. <laughs> Show your ignorance. Do not judge outward appearance, it will be your own undoing. Janos is highly intelligent, uh, though he does take a heed in his counselor on many occasions. Can you tell me anything further about Stormfist Castle? It's an impressive stronghold built for modern warfare. There are rumors of an uh, enormous and complex ca uh, cavern system below. That is interesting. I can see this uh, a strategic advantage in such a system, but it can also be a flaw. Here, I'll mark the castle uh, castle's location on your map. Mm. Who is this wise counselor who advises Duke Janos? He must possess uh, an equally impressive intellect. Her name is Lady Elona, and she resides at Sunfish Castle. She oversees Janos' education, and you are right, she's very intelligent too. Before I go to Stormfist Castle, may I equip myself with the Ducal Armory? Okay, so she's gonna give me more stuff. Oh, she's not gonna. Our supplies are unlimited and we are at war. So now, we head to Stormfist Castle, it seems. I am carrying too much, apparently. I oh, know something is breaking. Mm, the. The shield. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this because last time it didn't work. This one. I don't remember how it's done. Did it? No, it didn't. Hmm, I got no idea how you do that then. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I can't because I should level it up, level it up, probably. But anyway, 
we're gonna leave this place maybe i should just clear the fog so you guys can see we still have a bed here um, so this is the barracks and this is something else i didn't show you because we had to come um, that's the reason why we had to walk but from the barracks i think it's either here or here is a teleport for, to this place so let's uh oh there it is right away there so we got three <laughs> haven't even gone to aleroth to get the other one which is silly because i have the teleporter stone and i go there all the time but in any case to stormfish castle We will see about this new duke. Oh, and I also would like to remind you, in case this video comes before Thursday, that I will be... Uh, oh, I'm taking the wrong path. Log. I will be streaming every Thursday. Uh, in case you want to follow me on the Purple website, I don't know if I can mention it on YouTube. Yeah, that would be pretty pretty cool if you could, if you could check it out. Oh. Oh, there we are. Mm, I don't know how much mana that was, quite frankly. So this is uh, Commander Ralph and Stormfish Castle will be right behind. to Stormfist Castle. No <laughs> visitors except by appointment. Beware of the dogs. Very well. Here it is. When you make it here your first time, uh, what they're gonna tell you is that you need an invitation, but we already have one. Good day to you, sir. What can I do for you? They're calling me sir now. Uh... I am a friend of Sandalor. I'm looking for him. I heard he came to Stormfist Castle. What are you talking about? I never heard that name. You're wasting my time. Uh, no, I speak the truth. It's an old man and he looks like a wizard. Really? Ah, uh, yes. Now I recall him. Yes, he had a safe conduct of the old duke. So he was allowed to enter. Alright then, so can I enter please? May I see your invitation? Here it is. I as welcome to Stormfist Castle, and congratulations on a job well done. I have been instructed to direct you immediately to Duke Janos. Please proceed to the throne uh, to the throne room at once. Very well, here we go. Oh boy, how do I even read that? Uh, tricks, flax, greetings, adventurer. Exciting times ahead. Oh yes, very exciting times. Who the hell are you? I'm Six Sucks. Uh, the Almost Wise. Clicks, Trick, Trick, Six Sucks. Oh my god. Gathers knowledge of the past, present, and future. So he does. Uh... Yes. Hilm Thok Six Sucks. Oh my god. Uh, the Almost Wise. Written many books about this subject. What is it that you uh, what is it you want with me? Nick Knacker, I am investigating chaos and order, and you, he, uh, he, he, you stuck in the middle. Track tricks, six acts, will write book about you, so he will. What? Why do you say I am stuck between chaos and order? Human carries Mark. Rublix Ning Zigzags. The almost wise knows importance of Mark. Uh, Mark? 
You human play important role in the events to come. Yes, you will. Very well. A book about me? Yes. The almost wise gives a copy to you when finished. Blood dang it. Oh my god. If you're still alive, then of course. Uh, okay. Wait. Uh, Six Axe wants to take a look at Pyramid Human is carrying. The teleportation device? Yes. Give it to Six Axe. Uh, the almost wise. Show you important things, so I will. I don't know. It's the only choice I have. Very well. The almost wise finds uh, other stone now. Bring them back soon. And there it is. I I no longer have a stone. I'm pleased that you followed up my master's invitation. May I show you to the throne room? Everybody is waiting for you there. Waiting for me? But why? I really wish everything would be dead dot. I wouldn't have to read so much. Through your adventures, you have proved yourself in many different ways to my master. He has said that he is very <laughs> impressed with you. Very well, show me the way. Allow me to give you a little tour. Stormfist Castle got its name from the dwarf who first explored this area. Edgar Stormfist. It is over a thousand years old. Did you know that in the Age of Chaos, the wicked Lord of Chaos and his horde of demons tried to destroy Stormfist Castle? The battle mage Reuben Ferrell banished the evil god, but terrible damage was done to the castle. You will see that much of it has had to be rebuilt. A human banished the Lord of Chaos. Oh yes. Yeah. Reuben Ferrell was a man of knowledge and intelligence. He assembled a group of powerful leaders, one from each race, to battle beside him. Together they formed the League of Seven, and together they gave their lives to banish the foul Lord of Chaos. You should read the histories in the castle library. I would really advise you read them all. Only the ones that say story. There are cook oh, recipients and so on. And savior of the seven races, may I present to you the hero whose fame is known throughout Dukedom. Ah, the new Lord Protector has finally arrived. And greetings to you. Silence, you fool. The Divine One has not given you permission to speak in his presence. Fucking hell. Your pardon, milady. I said silence. Jesus. My dear Alona, do calm down. My sweet Layla is sleeping next door, and she doesn't want to be disturbed by your kid. screaming. And an ugly Please kid. excuse me, O oh Divine One. I shall modulate my tones accordingly. I've heard a lot about you, my friend. An ugly kid. <laughs> You're a hero, in fact. The bards in Rivertown are already singing songs about you. That's why I have decided to appoint you as my new Lord Protector. Yeah, what? I beg your pardon? I can't be plainer than I have been, my friend. From this time forth, you will be my Lord Protector. You'll stay at my side and protect me with your life. Naturally, you accept this honor. An honor indeed, sire, but I must refuse. I have an urgent business to attend to and, and can't take no such posting at this time. I think you understand the gravity of the situation, my friend. From this moment on, your previous life is at an end. Forget it, and settle to your new role. And just in case you become forgetful, the guards have been told that you're not allowed to leave the castle, except with me, for the next 40 what years. What the hell? <laughs> That's right, what the hell? Be thankful that Janus, the Divine One, has chosen you to be his personal bodyguard, Dolt. The only higher honor you can ever hope to attain is to sacrifice your worthless life for the Divine One. Okay, so I am definitely burning this place to the ground. Divine One, I see no living gods here. Yeah, he's definitely not one of the Divines, one of the marked ones. 
Have you never heard of the prophecy of Reuben Farrell? Lord Janus is the Divine One, and the people are proclaiming his perfection with a single voice. Thank you, my dear Alona. It is indeed my destiny to change the face of this sad world. Through my glorious guidance, the seven races will attain paradise. And you, my hero of the people, must stay by my side to protect me. You will thus attain fame everlasting. Theus, go about your duty. At once, my lord. And my new lord protector, come see me in five minutes. I shall be in my chamber. What the hell? An appointment with the new ruler of Pharaoh. Well, that is clearly messed up, and this one surely pulling the strings, at least some of them. You will protect Janus with your very life. Nothing less is acceptable. Fail in your duty and be assured that you will quickly learn new levels of suffering. Uh, my lady, my purpose to visit the castle was to find Sandalor. Can you tell me where I can find him? You came here to find Sandalor? Not because you were invited by the young duke himself? I'm gonna blast that kid, trust me. I must say I am shocked. I am sorry, my lady. I didn't want to be rude. So can you tell me about Sandalor? I don't know him, I didn't see him. Perhaps he visited the castle during my absence. Mm. Tell me more about the kid. Surely you should know by now that Janus is the glorious divine one. Clearly not. It's a great honor to become his personal lord protector. Oh yeah, yeah sure. Why does everyone think Janus is the divine one? The seven gods themselves speak to Janus directly. His influence over people is great, and by the power of sword and strength, he'll guide them into a new age. Yeah, what is your relationship with Janus? That's none of your concern, but know this. It was I who convinced Janus to appoint you to Stormfist Castle. Why do you show so much interest in me? Yeah, why indeed? You have performed a great service to our dukedom and gained much respect. It's reassuring to have such person around Janus. Well, very well. All of this is a lot fishy. So, we made it here. We met Janus. Uh, so I, I believe over here is his chambers. What we will do now, and this is very important that you do, I think. Basically, uh, just start and and do everything that you can around around here. We want to have a, a a few of very petty missions. The door is locked. But let me show you around. There's the bronze key. Uh, well, it's a lot of books here. You can read them. <clears throat> That key opens this door. I think. That was yeah. nice. Here you have some armory. Armor as well. There there again. You can put your stuff there as well. It's a way of uh, just holding your own things. Hold! Entry to the castle cellars is strictly uh, prohibited. Uh, damn it, but I'm the Lord Protector. I must take. Sh I must make sure the cellars are safe. So, the entrance to the cellars is uh, forbidden. I'm sorry, sir, but not even you are allowed to enter the cellar. Specific, uh, specific orders from Duke Janos. What is in the cellars anyway? <clears throat> I have no idea. Now please leave or I'll report you to the Duke. Very well. Have you got anything? Not really. Right, so as I as I said, entrance to the cellar. It's forbidden. 
What is that? Ah, it looked like a hatch. Never mind. Why could that be? Why could that be indeed? This... Uh, well, more armory. This is the kitchen. This guy gives you a mission, but it's a silly little mission. Damn you, what are you doing in my kitchen? So, you're, you're just gonna be nice to him. I want to pay respects to the one uh, to one of the most important persons in the castle. The meals you have prepared were really delicious. I tasted none better. Uh, really? Well, I am really glad you had the, courteous, uh, the courteously to come to say so. Few in this castle have the manners to thank me for all my toil. But a simple word of gratitude is all I ask for. You know, I'm very ambitious regarding my cookie. Uh, right. So you're nice to him. And what happens... He gets your mission to... To do the dishes, basically. And I don't, I don't even remember, quite frankly, how... I think you have to do that. And you do something like this. Ah, right. So you are uh, cleaning these things on that pot. Ah, right. This is where it, be it gets kind of uh, complicated because the last time uh, around I I got confused. So I did that and this plate comes out. Uh, this one is clean. Why did I store it? Because otherwise it doesn't work. You see? Hold on. Just a moment. Right. Right. So these are the able to use that. These are the ones that are clean. That are uh, they always are I can't use that. Sorry, I can't use that. Like left behind for some reason. And the way it works is that you have to uh, pick them up one by one for some reason. I don't really understand why. Although I don't know if it works. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, no, this mission I remember it was uh, weird. See? able to use I can't use that but yeah the idea is that you kind of do that the problem is uh, last time it only let me do it if I was to able to use that If I was to pick them all up. I can't use that. I can't use it on that. Sorry. I can't use I can't Yeah, use and it your character that. will be uh, saying that all the time, but Okay, so these are dirty. Sorry, I can't use that. Let's see now. Hmm. Something's still dirty. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, see, it's it's really weird. I don't know what precisely you have to do, but I now have a lot of shit in my inventory. All done. You get a little experience. And he gives you a flask or something. He also gave me a mission of uh, going to do something with the food, but we're not going to do that. It was just to show you a little bit of what happens. Mm, a few places here you can inspect. 
you're not gonna not gonna get punished I have too much to carry I must drop some items first yeah yeah don't worry about it <clears throat> So this is Janos Chambers, I think. Yeah. So what's gonna happen now is that he's gonna give us a lot of um, weird missions that we will just have to do. Ah, my dear Lord Protector, uh, which is to speak with me. I've got a fine task for you, uh, my dear Protector. Okay. I haven't seen Ernie all day long. Please bring him to me. He must be lurking somewhere in the castle. Uh, what does Ernie look like? It's the cat. The alert. The oh, fuck, you fucking kid. He levels up, didn't he? Uh, he's got white fur and my girlfriend Le uh, Le Lila, Lela? I don't know, loves him. Go find the, the little devil at once. Ernie, that is not Lela. Very well then. Mm. Okay then. So, the cat is apparently an iconic character from the Divinity series. I'm not entirely sure if I heard that right. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, it's a, it's a cat that speaks. Spoiler, sorry. Well, you can expect all of that if you want. You're just gonna be going around trying to clear the fog of the of the whole place. The cat's nowhere to be seen. Hmm. Why can't uh, can't I enter to the cellar? The cellars are off limits. You will not go down there. Hmm. I am looking for Sandler. I have been told he is in the castle. What? Dear Protector, you should learn to know your place here. In due time you will learn where he is, but first I need you to do some little task for me. Again? Yeah, well, what about the cat? I can't find the cat, and honestly I think that's not really the task for your personal bodyguard. I pray that nothing has happened to my poor cat. Go and find him at once. Uh. Oh, there it is. Psst. Yeah, it speaks. Aru. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Hello, my friend. My name is Aru. I've waited all day long for you to pay me a visit. Attacking cat. I must have taken a head wound. I need a healer. Meow. Uh, you know, you look really funny with that uh, gormless expression on your face. Well, down to business. I was sent by Sandalor to speak to you. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that dragon rider attacked me. I am very concerned about Sandalor. He went off investigating cellars of Stormfist Castle, but he hasn't come back. Mmm, shady. Uh, what kind of investigating is Sandalor doing? An aura of evil surrounds Stormfist Castle. Sandalor is convinced that the source is a uh, young Lord La uh, Janos. And this big sword he wears. Be careful now. If Sandalor thinks Janos is so dangerous, why did he risk entering the castle cellars? Sandler suspects that one of uh, one of the marked ones is being held prisoner there. Meow. Very well. Janos requests your presence in the throne room. Uh, phew. That arrogant little brat gets on my nerves. He keeps calling me Ernie. 
of all things more than that, it, I sense that there's something terribly wrong with our young Lord Janos. Uh, why are you staying in the castle? As soon as Sandra heard that the people were whispering that Janos might be the Divine One, he sent me to Stormfist Castle to keep an eye on the arrogant puppy. <laughs> Do you think Janos is the Divine One? By the gods, no. If Janos were the Divine One, we would see the end of the world as quick as the dog can break wind. No, I think that Lady Elona and Lord Janos are charlatans. That's pretty obvious, quite frankly. My heart tells me that I should look after that old fool, powerful wizard, though he may be. The entrance to the prison lies in the room left of the entrance to the main building. Yeah, okay, I we know that one. The entrance to the food cellar lies in the soldiers' building west of the main building. I do hope that nothing happened to poor old Sandalor. Yeah, will you go with me over there? Oh no, I hate to be near either the arrogant boy or the uh, aggravating lady Elona. Just tell them that you couldn't find me. Nah, it's whatever. See you later, cat. You've been most helpful. Right. So what happens if we speak to this kid again? He didn't bring my favorite kitty. What kind of servant to a royal sovereign are you? Now we have to ask dear uh, Lila to go look for him. Because I got a completely new task for you, Lord Protector. Don't fail me this time. I have written this magnificent epistle to my lover, the precious Lady Lila, proclaiming my eternal love. So be kind as to deliver, deliver it to the Jojo Bloomer little strumpet, will you? Fucking kid. I don't like your insolent tone, peasant. Still, even you shouldn't have any difficulties finding her naturally, as she's my lover, she's the most beautiful person in the castle. Says you. Okay. So that is something else. Uh, as, I, as I said, it's a back and forth of these uh, silly little missions. This is the one. Go over here. This is not a little girl. Uh, you shabbily dressed dog's body. <laughs> You're not one of the royal servants, are you? You dirty peasant. I am gonna cast fireball in all of this fucking place, I swear. Uh, why you've got no breathing at all? Ooh, how I wish to speak like this. Take the damn litter. Yes, yes, you fucking bitch. Anyway, uh, I think that being done, you have to speak to him again until he can. He doesn't want to speak to you anymore. You will remember to call me my lord, or I have your tongue torn out. Uh, now, my dear Elona tells me that there is a beautiful patch of flowers in the castle courtyard near the well. You will pick a bunch of these flowers and give them to my beloved. Uh, okay, yeah, see. Uh, more of these things. This then, Duke, uh, Duke Janos. We need to discuss my present posting. I'm not happy. What happens? I am bored with this conversation. You will remain as my lord protector for next 40 years. After that... We'll see about granting you a little leave. Uh, listen, my lord duke. In 40 years, I'll be too old to fight for you. That is true. Yes, you're probably right. But then, on the other hand, you'll probably be long dead in 40 years' time. If you don't cope it. And in line of duty, I might well have you executed for wasting my time with pointless discussion. To catch my drift. Fucking... Serving kids. This game is building my rage. Uh, this is the kitchen. Wait, what? Okay, there it is. 
So yeah, just a little back and forth. Uh, oh yeah, we cannot go out there. We have to look around here for them stupid flowers. Right. So we do that, and we speak to the little brat. Although this woman does not seem to be as young as the duke. Yes, yes, shut up. Now. What we want to do before... Uh, keep hearing the spouting of that kid. It's to go outside... Obviously, you cannot go outside of the castle. It is forbidden from now on. But we want to explore this area because there is something important going on there. Whoa, my camera. Anastasia. A ridiculous title that only uh, my ungrateful son could have devised. Oh, this is the mum. Mother to Duke Janos and widow for the of the late Duke. Forgive me, my lady. I did not recognize you. It's highly surprising why should the mother of the Duke be wandering the dreadful outer precincts of Stormfield's castle? Unless, of course, she had been exiled there by her ungrateful son. The, that you see, you see it, something really bad is going on. My so-called son won't allow me anywhere near him, but at the same time, he won't allow me to go to my townhouse or the country state. So I must languish here in these dreadful, badly decorated apartments in the outer castle precincts. Power has changed him, beyond recognition, I mean. He always was a headstrong boy, his father calls him spoiled, but since Janos became Duke, it's almost as if he were a different person. His age, well beyond his years, calls cynical, even cruel. He's not the, the baby I once loved. What do you think made him change? Power, plain and simple. Uh, that and the wicked people around him, the priest, the father, the Ophelos grovels to him as if he were a young god. And that bitch Lady Elona <laughs> reinforces the fantasy by calling him the Divine One after some old prophecy or other. Right? So that's mostly important thing you need to know. Other than that. Kale and well met. My lady, it's a pleasure to meet a new protector of your uh, young Duke Janos. Well met indeed, sir. You clearly know me, but I don't know you. May I ask your name? I am Walt. I'm used to be the head of the old Duke's bodyguard, but I've been forcibly retired by Duke Janos. That's why you have to waddle about under that ridiculous title of Lord Protector. You are my replacement. Oof. I never asked to be a Janos protector. I wish he'd given you the post walls. I dare say you'd be much better than I uh, at it than I am. A gorgeous answer, youngster. Uh, thank you. Is that how you pronounce that? Thank you. But I wouldn't touch that job with the pointy end of, of a halberd. Life was good under the old duke, but that boy Janos is pure trouble. How do you mean? The old duke was always getting into fights and visiting young maidens uh, on the, on the eve and their uh, of their weddings, if you know what I mean. But he was uh, never cruel or sick in the head. Meaning the new duke is sick in the head and cruel. That boy is only twelve years old, yet he's tortured folk to death for petty crimes. He's bedding a girl only four or five years older than he is. It's not natural. Uh, all rulers are cruel, in my experience, and what young lad past puberty wouldn't have a girlfriend if they could get their hands on one, and surprise he hasn't taken a dozen. You know, that's not what I mean. You must have seen it. The lad Janus is too old uh, for his years. He talks like a jaded leecher past 40. Not a stripling boy of 12. Oh, he's 12 then, that's even worse. 
Do you happen to know where Sandalor is? Sandalor, the old wizard. Yes, I know him. He visited the place often, many years ago. He came here yesterday, talked to Lady Elena, and then went to the cellars. I didn't see him later on. Anyway, I have to leave you now, youngster. You probably have many tasks to fulfill for Duke Janos. Good luck. Uh, well, yeah, thanks. That is more context. And I believe in this castle, there is a few scrolls. So I would advise you uh, explore. In any case, I will show you the scrolls, I think, in the next episode. Um, so let's do a quick recap. Sandalor is definitely in the cellars. Which is underground. And the only entrance, according to the cat, it's through the, well, the cellar entrance that's here. Uh, the kid's not just a spoiled kid, it seems like he's being controlled not only by her ad uh, his advisor, this lady, but that he has changed. Uh, almost like he's been taking... Uh, he's been taking mind control or something. My humble servant, those has told me that you managed to deliver the flowers to my beloved Lila without damaging them. Well done, I hope you're ready for your next uh, task. Right, I did you quite some favors. Now tell me where I can find Sandra or I'll teach you a little lesson, no divine one. <laughs> uh... Yeah, let's do this. Uh, I did some tasks for you. You might be willing to tell me more about Sandalor whereabouts. I'm so bored with this conversation. Sandalor left a few hours after he came here. Said he had to look for someone. Come on, now do my little task to cheer me up, will you? Fucking hell. Lila has lost her teddy bear. Oh my god. Somewhere in the castle, I'm getting tired of, the, of her petulant whining. So you will look at this stuffed toy and take it to her. His name, she tells me, is Uncle Sam Kane. What the hell is that's not a name. But I wouldn't bother calling out for him. Ho ho. Yeah, very funny. Oh. Ah, Ambassador Bronthian. We appreciate your visit to Stormfist Castle. Behold, Duke Janus, the Divine One. Greetings, Ambassador. What can I do for you? It is a great honor to meet you, my Lord Duke. King Ryland Turfendale sends his personal greetings and hopes that you, as he, continue to treasure friendship of our two peoples. Thank you. Please go on, Ambassador. As you must have heard, sire, a band of vagabond dwarves have defiled the elven burial grounds in the Dark Forest. These bearded scum have defiled the graves of our ancestors and have stolen holy relics of an estimable value to the elven people. Yes. Well, that is certainly one side of the tale. It is the entire truth, sire. You have my word that wicked dwarves have even stolen the sacred tome of Therian Selendil. My dear ambassador, it is the recovery of a simple book written by a tired, semi-senile old elf worth the risking of a blood war? How dare you to depreciate the writings of the great Therian Selendil! Ambassador Bronthian, remember to whom you are speaking. Listen, Elf. We humans have an ancient treaty with the Dwarven people. In the Age of the Damned, it was they who saved us from the first onslaught by the Lord of Chaos. Oh. Where were you elves then, huh? If the Dwarves fight, we humans will stand at their side. Shaloi, you will support grave robbers and murderers. I cannot remain neutral on this issue. The dwarves helped the human race to defeat evil beings long ago. Now we will return the favor. By the gods, you're either a fool or a monster, Janus. Your words will have dire consequences for all of Rivalon. Well, that wasn't a very diplomatic move, your highness. Not to worry. Things went just as I hoped. They would. Oh, it's you. Didn't I order you to find my sweet Lela's teddy bear? Get on with it, my protector. Well. There you are. 
Now the the race of men is not on good terms with the elves. But yeah, that being said, I think we cover uh, a little bit of the important side of the history, uh, the story, sorry, here. So I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna try and get on with as much irrelevant stuff. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to follow me on the purple website as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.